The game was very open in the first half. Yeah. Both teams having loads of chances. It was end to end stuff. But in the second half, Mallow seemed to close it out. Almost didn't give Inverness a sniff. Yeah, I, I, you know, I wasn't kidding anybody on today when I said I thought this would be our most difficult game up to up, up to press because you know they've scored twice in every and obviously if Dazzle don't save the penalty, they scored another two. Um, they're always a threat. You know, four and up front. You know, leads the line well, experienced, and at times they give our two young lads a, a hard time, but they stuck at it. And we, and we just said we had a great start. You know, please for Chris. Yeah, he can infuriate at times and things can go wrong. He's a typical winger, but on his day he can glide past people and he's done outstanding for Higgy's first goal. Um, delighted for him and for everyone. And the second half, we just said at half time, let's go out, even if you, if you just keep a clean sheet, but let's try to be a bit, a bit more offensive in the final third and put them under pressure. Um, and it was always good when you look round at the bench and you've got Murphy and Oyama to come on and, and Daly that can always sort of give an attacking threat, you know, when teams are tiring. Um, so you know, it's good for a manager to have that up your sleeve. Um, but overall, you know, there was some, you know, Fraser Kerr at right back and, and Zane at left back, and I can go through the team. I thought Lasley got stronger as the game went on, and, and Big Michael up front, who, who said in the airport to me, you know, I said to him, I'm looking maybe to to rest him because he is struggling with his Achilles even at half time. He, he says he doesn't really want to come off, but he's, he's toiling. But I thought he was causing them all sorts of problems just with leading the line like an old-fashioned centre forward, with an absolute clinic and clinical finishes from him. And uh, he says to me in the airport, he says, you know, I'll. I'll just got a hat trick for you Sunday, then I'll have a week off, Gaffer. So I think he's merited his week off. He goes a perfect end to a perfect day. Happy birthday and a hat trick. <laughs> Good present. Best present I've had today is a hat trick ball. Uh, and the three points, obviously. You know, that was a tough game. Lads are, you know, very tired at the moment. We've had nine games in nearly a month. You know, that's incredible. Uh, so, you know, obviously delighted with that. Talk us through the three goals. The first one you've got in the Chris Humphreys. Um, great cross. Second one you've took advantage of a short back pass and the third one you rocketed into the top corner? Uh, yeah, we just need to be on the end of things, you know, anticipate where it's going to go. The uh, first one, I've got a crossing man, that's what you can do and, you know, I've managed to put it away and the second one possibly should have chipped them, I think, but, you know, I've just seen a little gap in it and that's gone in. The third one was probably my best goal of the day. You know, I've got a nice connection with it and uh, it's gone in the top corner.